that's right. Loads of you have been writing in to tell us about your new best friends, including... This is my dog, Betty. This is Pluto. This is Sammy. This is Ella. We rescued her five years ago from Romania. He's a greyhound cross to Lukey, and he's just a gentle giant. <laughs> Nap time now, tired after her walk. Giving a dog a home is a wonderful thing. I was lucky enough to grow up around dogs, and in case you hadn't noticed, I love spending most of my time in the studio with Henry. However, I know that rescuing a dog is a huge commitment, so I'm on a mission to find out what it takes. This is Jasmine. She wrote in to tell us about her new best friend, Rex, who joined her family two years ago. I'm heading to meet her to see for myself how rewarding rescuing a dog can be. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. And this must be Rex. Oh, you're ready for attention, aren't you? What is your favourite thing about Rex? He's exactly like me. He He's lazy. He <laughs> likes to eat food. What made you rescue a dog instead of going to a puppy breeder? Well, rescue dogs have had a tough life and puppies are really adorable and everything, but rescue dogs who are older might never get a chance to have a loving home. And it's kind of sad, actually. When you, like, pay attention to them and they pay attention to you, they're really loving companions. I, I couldn't agree with you anymore. Can I take Rex home? No, he's mine. OK, fair enough. Meeting Rex and Jasmine has been amazing, and it's fantastic that so many of you have been inspired to adopt a rescue dog. However, despite this, the amount of dogs that have been brought into rescue centres has dramatically increased in the last year, and I want to find out why. So I have come to the place that Jasmine adopted Rex from to find out. This rescue centre specialises in looking after German shepherds, and I'm going to meet owner Stuart. Stuart, what is a rescue dog? The way we look at it, it's any dog that's in need of help. People hand them over because they don't want them anymore. Stray dogs is another one. Hunter had behavioural issues, however, nothing that a little bit of training won't sort out for him. Many dog behavioural problems can stem from poor training. I want to know what can be done when dogs are puppies to help. I always kind of do like a little routine, so I go, oh, you've got one paw, two paws, three paw, paws, four. Two paw. um, and this is really good because now he's actually calm while you're doing it. Oh, so oh. as he gets older and bigger, it means that he'll be used to that. This is something that people miss. I don't understand why a dog would ever be put in a rescue shelter, but the numbers seem to be going up at the moment. So why is that? They do. Lots of people, especially with lockdown, are having issues where they're at home a lot more, mm. hence having more puppies, so then the figures are going up. Unfortunately, they are then finding out as they're growing that they can't cope with them. They don't do enough work as a small puppy to actually get to a stage that when they're bigger, that they actually behave. I've now seen firsthand both how rewarding giving a home to a dog can be, but also the price that dogs can pay when their owners can't look after them. I would really love a dog of my own, but I'm not quite sure that I'm ready yet and I need some advice. So I've organised a video call with BP favourite Vet Rory to find out a little bit more. Rory, how are you? Very well, my friend. How are you? I'm all the better for seeing you. Now, listen, first of all, what sort of size place do you think that you need to be able to adopt a dog? Really, you just need to have the space for that dog. So it really depends on breed. Where do you live at the moment, Rich? So I live in a, a one-bedroom flat. So probably you're looking at the much smaller size breeds for, for, for that sort of space. I've just adopted my own rescue dog. She's actually just sat here. Shall we get her? Go and get her. Ah! So this is Nala. She is a lurcher. She is going to be about 15 kilos or so. We have a three bed flat in London and we just have enough space for her. So you've got to tailor to what you've got. If you've got loads of outside space, loads of places to let them run, then you can pretty much get any breed. But for me and you, we've got to stick to the breeds that are a little bit on the smaller side and, and are happy living that flat life. So obviously being a Blue Peter presenter, ordinarily, I don't know how often I'm in, how often I'm out of, of my flat. Uh, I could be filming seven days a week, I could be filming one day a week. Yeah, I know that's a, that's a really interesting point because so many people have more time at the moment, but 
What about when things go back to normal, Reggie? Hey, it's, it, you're going to be filming again. Next year, it's going to come back. So I would absolutely encourage anyone thinking of getting a dog because they have more time right now, think longer term because dogs are a 10 to 15 year commitment, sometimes longer. Yes, a dog is for life, not just for a pandemic. Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to adopt a dog right now, so it's going to have to remain a life goal of mine. But I'm very, very glad that I went on this journey. For me, for the moment, I am more than happy to see Henry every single Thursday. Hiya, Marksy here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and for more Blue Peter, check out the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.